Morning, guys. It's uh, 5.53 in the morning, Pacific Standard Time. It's August 31st, 2023 for the West Coast. Uh, zombie, Weaver, John C., Roseman, California, who's barely awake and getting there. Anyway. It's got to be that time of season for cable companies to go through reorganizations again. And they have to talk about things. They have to negotiate. They have to put this on the meat hook. Dealing with cable companies for a long while, you are subject to the whims to what the cable companies will be able to be contractually allowed to put on there. And each of those channels that you love especially the major ones like Walt Disney or even the local channels out there such as, well, if we're going to be dealing with the major boys like uh, ABC, CBS, NBC, the entertainment ones would have to be arguing left and right. Everything got so convoluted over the past 30 years, I don't even know what the hell is going on with these guys. But uh, one side wants more money, and the fight for negotiation goes on. How much can cable afford to pay or suck out in order to please their stockholders? But also to keep customers. We do have this streaming situation going on. It's been ongoing for about, oh, about 20 years, roughly. Maybe more, maybe less. But I do remember every time, even before then, we actually saw the banner on the tube, and it said, uh, this particular cable company is going through negotiations again. And then you see the commercials from the satellite dish guys. They'll say, switch to us, switch to us. We're cheaper, we're cheaper. And then they have issues with every other company out there. But they'll be screaming, but we're cheaper The cable company. We just don't offer as much these days. The problem is with cable, actually with, uh, Satellite dish, it depends upon good weather all the damn time so you can get the satellite pictures. It's not our fault. We can't control the weather. How dare you? And the problem of it is, it may have been cheaper sometimes, but they still cost a great deal. How to, great, how to drive us nuts. <laughs> but we're still dealing with Higher and higher cable prices. They said they were trying to keep keep it down, but no. We, they got to suck it out of consumer. And the problem is on my end over here, I depend upon the only working internet service, which means I got to pay both for the damn cable box and for the internet. I'm not thinking of switching. I'm just saying, got to modify that damn contract. Like, okay, fine. Cut off the damn cable box. I don't need it, but I need the internet service. And with the internet service, I can still get streaming services that I can actually use. But I still use cable. Because I still need to get the information out of these guys. It's just... It gets more and more expensive these days. I have to cut... I have to cut costs, and I don't know where the hell to cut the costs at. I really don't. So now i got to deal with satellite, and I don't want satellite. We don't have satellite here. We have cable in the apartment complex. Nobody around here has satellite in this complex I have. So i got to deal with the cable. And i got to deal with the cable's antics of... Saying, well, we got these people threatening you at this point over here. You won't see them again. 
on streaming services I can I can see their programming I can see it it doesn't mean I'm gonna live you know, enjoy it but I'm not you know, I have to deal with the shit I'm already paying enough as it is I'm almost paying enough in the rent just for cable that's terrifying half my rent cost is is well let's see half of my rent right now and it's bad well it's getting there for a two bedroom with a lot of junk and I still gotta get rid of this shit but if I took half the rent bill I have that's how much I'm paid for for the cable and the internet services it's supposed to be a low right but you look at the breakdown of the damn thing and it's So it's it's biting me in the pocketbook. It is biting me in the pocketbook.